What's up everyone? Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to migrate database from MS SQL Server to MySQL. So I'm having both my MS SQL Server database and MySQL database in Ubuntu Desktop 23.10 Mantic. So this is my Ubuntu Desktop. So this is the Ubuntu host IP 192.168.29.127. Okay and I'll be do doing this migration from Windows 10 uh, using MySQL Workbench community. So first of all before starting the migration we need to do something uh, that is called uh, creating a DSN for the MS SQL server. Okay so for that we will go to start settings control panel administrative tools here we have ODBC data source 32 bit or ODBC data source 64 bit. So I'll select ODBC data source 64 bit. Here see we have all the existing DSN here. Okay, we have Oracle PostGRE SQL, but we have to create one for Microsoft uh, SQL Server. Okay, so we will click on Add and look for the SQL Server driver. Here we will select. ODBC driver 17 for SQL Server. Okay, finished. Now we will give it a name. Suppose MS SQL Server 19 Ubuntu. We will keep the same description. Here we have with integrated Windows authentication with Azure Active Directory. I will select the third one with SQL Server authentication using a login ID and password entered. Here change the default database. Okay, so I will what I will do, I will just click here and select the database I want to migrate, Green DB. Okay, uh, keep everything, every other thing unchanged. Okay. Uh, change the language of SQL Server system. Okay, is it default? By default, it is English. So, if you want to change it to some other language, you can just check this and select from here. Okay. Finish test data source. Successful connection. Okay. Now we will press OK. Our DSN is now created. Now we will go to the SQL Server Workbench, click on Database, Migration Wizard. Okay, here we have Start Migration, click on Start Migration. From the Database System, scroll down and you will get SQL Server. Click on MS SQL Server. Okay, here the connection method will be ODBC Data Source. And from the DSN, uh, right now we have created a DSN. You will get all the data source name. We saw the data source name list. You will get here in the drop down. Here, go scroll down and you will get MS SQL Server 19 Ubuntu, okay, which I have created. Okay, username, provide your password. Okay, default database, GreenDB test connection succeeded okay next now my SQL Ubuntu okay this is this is a stored connection I already have okay you can I can use this actually there is something below which is called stored connection so for SQL server also you can store it like I will give it a name MS SQL server Ubuntu okay next so it is using the stored connection I'll just explain it is already uh, stored before host name is the same where the uh, MySQL server is there port is 3306 username I will use root I will put the password okay 
and default schema is MySQL test connection succeeded okay I already have a stored connection I don't need to check this next connect to data source DBMS that is SQL server connect to target DBMS that is MySQL retrieve schema list from source okay it will uh, retrieve the schema list and from on the next page you will get all the schema list so from here I will select green DB this one with the default DB schema okay and keep everything other thing unchanged next connecting to uh, source DBMS SQL server reverse engineering select schema okay so post processing of reverse engineer schema here uh, the first uh, you don't need to check all this because this is not uh, this is actually generated retrieved by uh, through the reverse engineering it retrieved it, uh, some set of routines and all that so I will only keep the first one checked migrate tables object okay I have totally uh, total 20 or 23 tables okay so uh, if you want to if you want to check this that uh, the tables here we can go to our SQL server management studio and check the source DBMS and the list of tables on that See the, the server name 192.168.29.127 SQL Server Authentication. I will connect. Click on database, green DB, tables. See, we have total, if you count, we have 23 tables here. Okay. So, just to go back to our workbench okay we have 23 tables next migrate selected object generate SQL SQL create statement okay so it will actually create a uh, in uh, internally you will it will create a SQL create statement and create all the tables to the target DBMS okay first it will create the tables Uh, no migration problem found 22 warnings this is regarding the mm, character set okay so this is not a problem and it will not block the migration next create schema and target DBMS okay and create a, a SQL script file so if you want to create a say this is optional if you want to uh, okay, maintain a SQL script file maybe we can check it and later check okay what is actually created in it with a migration script okay next replace I've already done it before so it is there and it's asking to replace the schema green DB will be dropped in the target MySQL server and all the existing data will be lost do you want to proceed because all the green DB is already there so if it is not there this message will not come since it is there the message is coming here okay so if you want to if you want to want to check mysql database i have one client here that is oracle sql developer here from here we can check our mysql database and the existing green db here we have our existing green db uh, existing mysql database so this is my connection first let us go to the connection and check the properties here see this is the same information we have provided when we have started migration okay so I will just go and expand this connection and check onto the tables so we have green db here tables we can even let us do one thing let us just drop this database okay so we have all the list of tables now we will go to workbench and click on yes
now it is creating the schema and objects okay it is overwriting and creating the schema and object now if you go here and do a refresh see it is slowly creating the files uh, is creating the tables okay so one by one if you go here on the workbench you see the tables has been created okay so there is no data now right now the data will be migrated but if you go on refreshing you see the number of tables is increasing okay and do a final refresh we got all the tables but if you click on this we don't have any data here we only have the data structure okay that's it. only the table has been created now the migration will start next script to create the target schema where is ex executed no data has been migrated yet review the re creation report before for errors or warnings if there are any errors you can manually fix the script blah 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 and click rec recreate object to, okay so okay so we don't have any errors here okay out mess output message is clear so we can proceed here okay click on next online copy of table data to target DB at dbms create a batch this is for this is called offline migration okay you can create a batch here dot cmd and later on execute that uh, and do the migration okay so this kind of migration happens in production environment when uh, online migration is not possible the server is running so okay so click on next now the copy has been started so we can check here suppose first of all monthly info has been copied so click on employ monthly info and go to data it is now migrating the data and once it's commit the, the data will be available okay so let us now check one second now see we have the data okay refresh so i'm just showing you the online uh, the transactions uh, that is happening the migration is happening and how the data is been migrated now just suppose leave details so if you now go to the leave details you will not find any data right now Oh, uh, okay. It is there. So this process will take some time. So after the uh, migration is complete, migration of data is complete, we'll be we'll get back. The migration is ongoing, and let us just go and. check once more the tables that are been migrated okay so do a refresh see almost uh, we are done okay right now the employee attendance has been going on this is a huge table so once it is completed we will get all the tables and then we'll check the data and we will compare the row count of a few tables on both source and target so the migration of data is complete next okay we have the migration report you can check it from here though we didn't got any error so you can just uh, copy this and keep it as a somewhere and later check all the uh, output of the migration okay finish now we will go to our sql developer and we will select this and do a refresh and we will check 
data with a with some suppose leave details okay or employee attendance just right click count rows 96207 on my my sql now i'll go to ms sql ubuntu okay so this is my connection you can check it properties okay the same configuration same connection information i provided on the mysql workbench okay so we will open green db dbo tables and we will go to employee attendance data right click count rows 93207 okay uh, check another table like leave details these are the big tables contains huge data right click count rows 52547 go to my mysql leave details where is leave details data 52547 so this is how we migrate table data from um, ms sql server to mysql using my uh, mysql workbench community so i hope you like this video if you like this video please like and share and also subscribe to my channel thank you so much